Welcome everyone to Maya Pavilion podcast, an improvised podcast inside an exhibition space. Maya Pavilion is a space for art and active discourse located in a social apartment studio in Kreuzberg district in Berlin. And we produce, host, collaborate on a range of formats such as exhibition, performances, screening, residences and now also podcasts. Since the lockdown kicked in, we have a special visit format called One Person Visit at a Time where people can come to visit our project space and connect with us. Apparently the lockdown gave us the opportunity to really connect with the visitors and shift the attention from the quantity of visitors to the quality. The purpose of uh, Maya Pavilion is to create and connect communities, make social interaction again possible, as it is where we experience the most friction. Therefore, in my point of view, is um, the starting point of any change. The story of this project space began on um, January 2020, when I applied for a VBS house, a social, um, social studio apartment, Uh, after eight months of unsuccessful research and be discriminated two times in the context of housing market, I decided to change my name from Andrea Mineo, my real name, to Andreas Mayer. And in one week, the, the name Andreas Mayer appeared in all houses searching platform and uh, I got uh, many invitation for viewing apartment and and one of them is this apartment where now we are recording this podcast. Thanks to the support of a discrimination agency there is a pending case towards uh, eBay Klanenzeiger and there is a research in a real estate agency in Berlin that have been suspected to implement discrimination in the context of housing market. During this uh, case, I decided to open my studio apartment and host uh, an exhibition and invite 12 artists that have one thing in common. They are all immigrants, they are all living in Berlin, they are all more or less facing the problem of um, Uh, living in a place, uh, living in a space and a place, a culture different. And so one of these artists is uh, Kai. Uh, she w she's a young director. She studied in... Uh, <laughs> she studied in many schools, actually. <laughs> I have to read here. First of all, she studied in Taiwan and she's based in Berlin and Hamburg. Uh, she studied political science in uh, National Taiwan University, in Humboldt Universität zu Berlin for an exchange program and she is currently studying film in Hochschule für Bildende Künste in Hamburg and she participated also to festival in Taiwan and Japan but let's let's um, speak about um, the, the film that you presented for this exhibition which is called The Artist is a film that um, address the topic of what means be an artist, first of all. If there is a path, what is the, this vital force that drives artists to do, to, to do art? Uh, what is, what is the, this film is about? This film is about four of my artists friends in Berlin, mm -hmm. and, and they are very different, and at first I want to film them as a half documentary and a half narrative film. But At the end, two of them, we have a little fight and conflict. So at first I want to change them to another actor and actress. But then I feel I'm not honest to my original idea. Okay. So I decided to film myself uh, failing to film this film. Hmm. To, to stick to the original idea. Okay. Yeah. At first, I'm just very confused what I should do because two of them don't want to join the film. Yeah. So, so when I just go for a walk and I think I should just record them all <laughs> and show my conflict. Okay. What it means for you, like be an artist? Um, I think it's not only like making art work or be creative to your work, but I feel it's an attitude for life. Mm. Yeah, to be creative with everything. Mm. Is there a method or just like came 
when you like a, a point of inspiration came and then, and then you you know that you have to do a film about art mm. you have to do a film about an artist I just um, I will just write a screenplay like like I always need to be pro productive mm. or I will feel very anxious so uh, I will just write the things that uh, I cared most at that time and mm. turn it into a narrative story so at that time I care about this artist in Berlin mm -hmm. I think it's weird like like everyone say oh I'm artist oh, yeah. yeah so so like everyone who's making some stuff can say they are artists so I'm a bit and, and, and so far I met so many different kinds of artists and I think it's it's, it's weird mm -hmm. like it's a weird weird career why because because it's not really a career I think yeah it could mm. be career so so it, it, I'm very curious like why people want to be an artist yeah why you want to be an artist sometimes I don't really I'm not really sure if I'm an artist or not sometimes I think I'm just a filmmaker <laughs> it's, it's a bit hard to tell the difference yeah and which is the, the difference between a filmmaker and an artist for you I think sometimes it could be same sometimes it's very different I think artists will follow their original, authentic idea more. Mm -hmm. A filmmaker, they can uh, just make film to entertain people, or mm. they can just take, um, they just make commercials like visually cool, but sure. there isn't a concept or a deep idea or something he or she wants to express in the work. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. it's the difference. Mm. Yeah, and today I think there is uh, this question of why be an artist is uh, more more relevant. No, mm -hmm. we are we have seen the last year, uh, the, it was the year of uh, the global pandemic, the mm. year of economic crisis, protest, mm. uh, murder, and uh, election. Mm. In January we got the assault yeah. to the capital, USA capital, yeah. and this time the the question of be an artist is more. I think more relevant, no? If you need to do some art piece, then you, you have to do it, or you yeah. will feel unhappy. Absolutely. Yeah. That, that's it. Do you think it's art essential? I think it's essential in long term, mm -hmm. and in short term, I think it's not so essential. Okay, what do you mean? Uh, like if one day now we suddenly don't have any art, we just need food, and we can, and, and business and law and, and everything, we can survive. But in long term, without art, life is boring. <laughs> it's boring. It's boring. <laughs> yeah, it's boring. <laughs> yeah. I, I um, think the point is not the artwork. It's mm -hmm. the action of be cre creating something. It's the mindset yeah, of, of, of making art. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was searching on Google, mm -hmm. know, why art is essential. And, yeah. and I, what I found is, uh, is kind of disappointing to me yeah. because um, what the people think about art is always a result of an object. No? Mm -hmm. The people essentially say, yes, art is essential. Of course it's essential. No? Like art is everywhere. Like art is, is uh, here in this computer, mm -hmm. not the design. Art is in the clothes. Art is in the net layout of, mm -hmm. of pages, the yeah. books that we read. Everything is art, mm -hmm. but why art is essential doesn't, doesn't really like answer my question. Mm -hmm. why, why we do art and why, why art is really essential. It's not because the product of art, but it's something more. Essentially what we call art is, is the product of art. Mm -hmm. While the, what I will call art is, is, uh, is this like vital force. And this is also the reason why we are here and all that. Now we are talking about art, mm -hmm. no? but outside, outside there is something something like more urgent no yeah we, we can think there is something more urgent no? there's yeah. there are there are many things that are mm -hmm. going on no but we have time to think about art all this crisis really not impacting us at the level of be unable to do art no because we have to to find mm -hmm. our food mm -hmm. all the second hypothesis is that art is absolutely essential mm -hmm. no in the way in which we we create experiences and we create the base for uh, a better future. Mm -hmm. We create the space of just speaking together, just having this situation which we can uh, honestly speak about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have many examples, I think. You know, during the Second World War, um, this, this movement 
that came out from the war and moved to uh, moved to Switzerland uh, and then create this like group of intellectual thinkers uh, mm -hmm. that we we call Dada uh, artists that were like uh, rejecting all all of the ideal stereotype of of being an artist or, or the figurative or the idea of a status quo and gathering together to think to discuss to make art to make experience i think they don't need to do art yeah. at this time if yeah. they don't want yeah yeah okay. sometimes i think they just do art because they feel they need to do it but actually mm. they don't need to do it yeah yeah they just think if i don't do art i'm a trash so they keep doing once i watch an interview from Mishai hanik mm -hmm. and also the the, the 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 person asked him oh, do you think art is essential to our society and i really like his answer I remember he mm. said, I th he, he thinks that for one person, it doesn't matter. But in total, it mm -hmm. matters a lot. So if one person doesn't do art or one person doesn't care about art, it doesn't matter. Yeah. But if the whole society doesn't care about art, then it matters a lot. So yeah. it's not valuable in a small scale, but it became very valuable in the bigger Mm. perspective because it is so invisible and it's mm. actually not essential for mm. our uh, physical everyday life mm, 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 mm. but i think in a bigger scale it, it's healthy for our life yeah, yeah. yeah i think the lockdown makes me realize that we are very easily to get affected by other people before mm. like i found out that many decisions we made or many worries or even your art piece are not from yourself, but from other people. Mm, yeah, okay. that's what I feel most from the lockdown, actually. So, and um, during this lockdown, you, you understood why? And you, you understood also how can you be more honest in your work? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I think I yeah. do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just recently I read this article that said the reason why Homo sapiens bit out a Neanderthal it was because of the drawing skills. And uh, Homo sapiens was, was better in drawing than Neanderthal. And that's, that's why uh, Homo sapiens spread out and uh, survive. Maybe Neanderthal is better at cooking. <laughs> yeah, okay. it, it's a bit like, it's not very scientific <laughs> logic. <laughs> yeah, uh, since, since Homo sapiens had to move from uh, a hunting uh, face to face to the animal, uh, he moved to a long distance hunting. So he had to, to throw in the spurs uh, in long distance. So he had to develop this vision, uh, this uh, skill of uh, visualize the animal and then be able to to, to so hit the animal. Think... The skill of visualize the animal yeah. is, is related to, to drawing because the, um, the capacity of visualization, yeah. imagination, it's related to this, uh, this part of the brain, parietal cortex. And this also explains why uh, the Homo sapiens was uh, drawing over and over act of um, um, hunting animals. Mm. Because it was actually a, a sort of exercise mm. in the act of hunting. Mm. Yeah, like you tell me about the, the about the drawing and the yeah. hunting thing. Okay. But I'm thinking like because it's essential for their surviving, their drawing make them uh, stronger to get food. But like now the contemporary art for example, yeah. just a very bad example, they maybe have a cup and they put it on the wall. Okay. And then maybe make a hole there. And put water here and it's dropping down. I'm just giving an example. Yeah, yeah. So this installation, why is it art? Can you explain? But you actually understand. No, I don't really understand some of them. Okay. I'm just curious. Do you think this uh, like installation that you saw was? Uh... No, I'm just giving a shit example now mm. from the table. I'm like, okay, ah, okay. we have a cup. If I make a hole here and put yeah. water and it just keep dropping, sure. and I say, sure. the, the name of the installation will be dropping. Mm -hmm. 2021 in Berlin, Neukölln, and like this. Yeah. And put in a, a, gallery, a gallery and maybe sixty thousand. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Why is it art? Yeah. Why? Uh, it's a question yeah, it's to a me. Yeah, it's a question ah, okay. to you because you are a professional. I'm not. What's the necessity of this object? 
the only fact that exists this mm. object is already an explanation. The, the fact that the, the object as an installation exists and the space and time, it's already accepted, no? The mm. fact that it exists. So I, I don't question so much if, if an artwork is a good or not. Um, the only fact that it's an artwork makes the reason why, like, you know, yeah. the, make up the reason why. Yeah. And, uh, but the only fact that the human or an artist had the time and space to think about an object like mm -hmm. this, which is not directly like functional, mm -hmm. like a, like a, a cup. Art couldn't exist if mm -hmm. we if we don't have a certain like belief, mm -hmm. no. If we couldn't uh, transform this like experience into a concept, into the the idea of art mm -hmm. of every having like experience uh, an art piece, mm -hmm. no. It will be just just an object, or will be mm -hmm. just a a symphony. Yeah. And just the sound, no? Yeah. But uh, but we, we believe in this symbols and this uh, experiences to mm. be art. Yeah. And we we do because uh, we think that they give us value, they give us something. So that's that's why we, we keep doing art, you know? Only this when you have everything, mm -hmm. it's very difficult to make a distinction of okay. what is essential or not. But in this time of restriction, you are really pushed towards the wall mm -hmm. and the question that mostly arises in this situation is why do I do what I do? And makes sense what I do because first of all it makes sense to me and second makes sense to the people that are around. Mm. Many, things, many <laughs> think, things make you feel good. Yes, like what? Eating cakes. Every, many things. It's, art is just one of them. Mm. But, but I think the, it's dif different from just normal good. Like mm -hmm. for me, uh, if I don't do it, I feel meaningless of my life. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe it's a bit more than just yeah. feeling good. Is this mm -hmm. film, uh, the artist that you made, a sort of like a portrait, self-portrait of you? Uh, honestly, at first I didn't think that much. I just want to film a film. I just want to finish the whole thing. <laughs> you just want to do a film? Yes, I just want to do a film <laughs> and that's the only thing I can do at that time. Okay. So after I finished it, I started to think about the meaning. Yeah, you, you just want to do a film and then during the process of yeah. the filming, yeah. you can think about... The meaning. The meaning. Yeah, yeah. this is... Fair enough. I'm always thinking about the meaning later. Mm. Mm. Or in process. Mm -hmm. But because if it's not interesting, then then every I think interesting things have meanings. Mm. Like things makes me feel interesting and I want to spend so much energy and money and blah 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 to finish it means this thing should be interesting enough for me to do it. Okay. Yeah, and I will think about the meaning in the process. Do you think the meaning is intrinsic? In this case, uh, an art object? Oh, I think there's a in, uh, original intent um, from the creator. I think we have also to get rid of this expectation mm -hmm. of uh, we, we are in front of an artwork. Mm -hmm. yeah. We have also to get rid, like, relax, no? Yeah. It, mm -hmm. it just, it, first of all, it's, it's an object, mm -hmm. no? And second, it's an object created by an artist. Mm. A third is an object that can yeah. uh, relate to the, mm -hmm. this. We can do many things. No? Yeah. Uh, in the in the best case, the artwork make you free, you create this freedom of thinking. Yeah, I, I really don't like some of the I would say films that is too clear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like trying to educate me or mm. what. Yes. So I, I really like like some unclear one but with very clear message mm -hmm. so you need to think about it yeah, and then yeah. you'll find a message someday which is the the best film that you saw recently i really like uh christoph kislovski from poland mm. i also like eric romer uh, can you repeat it eric romer okay yeah i like them both because they films I can their films I can watch like repeat many times, and every time I don't feel bored. Oh, his most famous film is um, Red, White, and Blue. It's the flag of France. Mm -hmm. So he makes three films, and the theme and the name of the each films are is the color. 
So like red is for love, blue is for freedom,、mm -hmm. and white is for equality. So he made his interpretation of these three concept、mm. with his film.、Oh, nice. It's cool. It's a really he, he always film normal story. So the story is about a girl. She wants to go to summer vacation, and she has a boyfriend by long distance, and so she wants to find someone to go with her. So she asks many people and go to different places, but anywhere she goes, she feel unhappy. She just、okay. couldn't be happy. Why? No reason why. <laughs> Yeah, so it's like the whole film. She's complaining, and at the end, she find her happiness. How? You have to watch the film. <laughs> the meaning is you have to believe in yourself. <laughs> no one can affect you. Okay.、Yeah. Nice. I like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Again. Yeah, because everyone is different. Every every clapping hand.、Uh, I mean, everyone's happiness is different. You have to be honest to yourself. Yeah.、Mm. Uh, well, people really enjoy listening this. Maybe this、uh, episode, maybe not so much. <laughs> <laughs> I also think no one will listen to this episode. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Are you sure? I think I think it will be it will be nice. Okay. Are you happy? Yeah, yeah, I'm happy. But I don't know if people will listen to this part at the end. Yeah, this is hard. Yeah, you can do、hard. some hard if you want. The the last thing that I want to ask you is,、uh, how do you see yourself in the future? Oh.、Uh, old. <laughs> no, no, I said oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. I will keep making films, and I want to be rich, and I want to be famous.、Yeah. I want to be artistic, but I don't want to be poor. I want to be original and honest to myself, but I also want to have a comfortable life. Yeah. yeah, it's impossible that you are not rich and you are a film director、mm. and you make long fiction film one after another. It's just impossible. Yeah, like like why people need to spend two hours to watch your idea? Yeah, there should be a reason that people sit down and pay for two hours to watch your creation. I always believe if your idea is good enough, you don't need to worry about the money, the fame, or blah, your life, blah. You just need to find out the best idea.、Mm. When you are worrying about that, it means your work is not valuable enough yet.、Mm. So you just need to improve your work, but not worrying about those other stuff. Sure. Like of course you have to find a job and blah, but you don't need to. Worried about that, and you just write a proposal. And if、mm. your proposal is good enough, you got the money.、Mm. If you didn't got the money, it means somewhere you need to improve. Ah, okay. Ah, that's okay, my concept. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah.、Sure. I mean, there, it, today it's a rich society.、Mm -hmm. So, so you, you definitely can get something somewhere. It's just if you are at the same. Skillful enough. Yeah, skillful enough for that.、Mm. Actually, I never. I I'm almost never seen anyone who is super talented, having super good films, good works, but not being noticed.、Mm -hmm. I most I never see. Only at the beginning, this person when he is young, he's talented. He makes some good special small films, but he doesn't continue.、Mm. Then. He will, he or she will complain. Ah,、oh, the society doesn't like me.、Yeah. Blah, but it's just because it's not getting better. Sure. Yeah, it, yeah. Sometimes I really hate artists complaining about,、mm -hmm. like, ah,、oh, the the people don't understand my art. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Oh, that's not the people's problem. Sometimes it's your problem. It's, it's always the <laughs> your problem. Yeah. yeah. Always part of the problem、mm -hmm. is from you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm.、Mm -hmm. But complaining about other people is、mm -hmm. always easier. Yeah, I remember one film、uh, documentary. Mostly, I, I watch documentary、mm -hmm. because films are quite boring for me. Okay. I'm not a film type. I know.、Uh, but documentary was a documentary about、um, octopus. Oh, I know. I、uh, octopus teacher.、Oh. Yes. I haven't watched it. Oh, you should. 
It's an amazing film. It's just okay. the story of this man meeting this octopus on the ocean okay. in the middle of nowhere. And he just having like uh, the best relation of his life with this animal, which is super intelligent. Okay. And yeah, at the end, it's quite tragical. Mm -hmm. uh, don't tell I don't want me. To tell I will you. watch it. But it's very nice. It's okay. very nice. Yeah. I will. It's, uh, I, I cried. When I watched this film, I said, I will never eat octopus for the rest of my life. Okay, thank you Kai to, <laughs> for coming and be hosted by pa Maya Pavilion Podcast. Mm -hmm. I hope you, you had fun. Okay. Cut.